Shalom, brothers and sisters. So I've been meaning to address this kind of situation for a while now, and I'm going to address it in this article specifically. And this doesn't apply just to him. It applies to world leaders at large. Again, Sholto's opinion. Putin kisses the Quran and holds it close to his heart in viral video. The video of the Russian president lifting a copy of the Holy Quran and kissing it then holding it close to his heart at Prophet Isa Mosque in Chechnya is winning hearts on social media. Muslim hearts, Islamic hearts. Putin made an unexpected visit to Chechnya, his first in 13 years on Tuesday, August the 20th. As Ukraine's cross-border incursion into the western Russian territory of Kursk entered the third week, Putin gifted a copy of a jewel-encrusted Quran during his visit to the mosque, named after Prophet Isa, which is their version of Jesus Christ. Note, it is not Jesus Christ. It has got no connection to our real Jesus Christ. It is their version of Jesus Christ. Putin was accompanied by head of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadryov, Chechnya Mufti Salak Meziev, an advisor to the president of Chechnya on the construction of religious facilities, Amrudi Eldigirif, before gifting the copy of the Quran to the mosque, he lifted it, kissed it, and held it close to his heart. Right, so immediately what happens is, all of the Islamic world and the Muslims and his allies, Turkey, Iran, all these places, Syria, they all like, oh, look, look, he loves Islam, he loves the Quran, he's giving such honor and, and pride and everything, and he's holding it close to his heart. This is the guy we've got to be with. Clever. It's clever. He's mobilizing people to support him and his country. That's what you do in those leadership positions. And you can see this with other world leaders. And I'm not going to start mentioning names. You know who I'm talking about. But there's multiple examples where leaders will make as if there's something they're not. Um, I'm a Christian, you know, I'm standing with a Bible, I'm going to hold it close to my heart, I'm going to kiss it as another example. Look, 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 all the Christians support that person. Here, all the Muslims are supporting him, even though he's not Muslim, he's not Islamic, but he's playing to the base the same way they all do. And people say, oh no, go across to Putin and Russia, he's standing against the globalist agenda. No, he's not. He's part of the agenda. He's they're all puppeting towards the new world order. And they play on people's faith to get people groups and faith groups to move as they need them to move. Until someone stands up and publicly, by example, shows me that he's a true believer of Jesus Christ. An absolute Christian willing to say what's needed to say. The unadulterated word of God from his mouth. And live that way. You're going to have a hard time convincing me you're a Christian just because you said you are. The same way any Muslim worth his salt is going to have to say. You're going to have a hard time convincing me Putin is a Muslim or Islamic just because he kissed the Quran and held it close to his heart. Leaders play with people's minds and hearts. By saying the right thing to mobilize a group to do their bidding or support them when they most need support. Remember that. It's not honesty. It's not truth that they're working with. It's maneuvering and it's power. And that is what it is. Whether you want to hear that or not, it's the truth. That's why Jesus will come back and show mankind what it was supposed to be like all along. When he rules for a thousand years, perfectly, the way it should be. Now, I, for one, can't wait for that. Shalom.